Young Art. Young Art. Young Art. Yo, uh, Young Art has been like doing really well in Undernight uh, as of, uh, you know, recent. Yes. He's definitely been grinding the game and stuff, and like his health is definitely improving. Yeah, and not only that, like, it's I feel like his skill sets have been transferring over really well when he plays Street Fighter 4. Oh, yeah, no, definitely. Dawson. So, yeah, like, if. Like, unfortunately, we didn't get a lot of, like, arts games on the stream. We got as much as we can. And, yes. like, the way he controls space, especially the the airspace directly in front of him, with, and he just was killing it with 3B anti-air. Like, he was just intercepting everybody who tried to jump in on him. He definitely, like, because with those type of zoners and stuff, you, you really have to make a read to understand if they're going to jump or not. Correct. And it's really committed with these kind of characters. And they get blown up so hard by, like, characters like, you know, uh, Merkava, Gordo, uh, uh, Carmine, like, anybody that really gets in your face and, like, can do big damage. Yeah. Because Hilda's, you know, BNB doesn't really do that much damage. She relies more on making the reads, playing solid neutral, making you block, mm -hmm. and uh, finally, you know, knocking you down and getting that set play going. <laughs> Correct. We'll talk about this more when we get to the bunch of Hilda's and losers bracket. Right now, we have two gigabyte Car Carmine. Two gigabyte Carmine. Versus two gigabyte Clim. Carmine. It's basically the same it thing. It is. It is. So we have Clem trying to get in. Yes, he got it. The swoop. He's taking two goodbye to the corner. Now, two goodbye Carmine has no real good reversals, except for, like, EX command EX grab. EX command grab, yeah. And uh, the other one, which is not invul on frame one, I believe. Yeah, it's not. You can mediate and knock him out before yep. the active frames happen. Now, I, I remember these guys were playing casuals um, a few days before, and they were going pretty even, so I'm really excited to see how this tournament will like, end up. Yeah. All right, slap hands. There we go. That's safe. Uh, but two they all... Nice awareness from two gigabyte shielding the. Uh, last I, hit. I believe it's somewhere in the middle, the third to last hit, mm -hmm. and getting his frames back. Here all comes right. a two gigabyte special um, setup. Yep. Not quite the the cross up, but he's pushing Clem into the corner, which is very important. Clem definitely with the the great advantages at this point. Yep. Taking the grid now. Forcing two gig in the corner with grab, but Clem's gonna continue the momentum ride. Ooh, that was very smart. Wow, this trades. 6 6 c pulls you out of the corner, and he uses the chain shift to dash behind you. And not many people know that, so the first time you see it, you would most likely get hit by it. All right, two gig goodbye trying to feel Clem out. Six C trade. Every trade against Carmine just is not in his advantage until he gets that knockdown. Yes. So Clem is doing very well in uh, just spacing him out with uh, 5C. Wow, trades with the anti air. Clem scramble, wins the scramble to get out of the corner. That's very important here. Two gigabyte with chain. Uh, woo. Wow. That was a nice whiff punish with that chain shift. Yes. Misses the TK, but whatever, we still planning bombs. Pressure still going. Ooh, he did the Sonic Fox special against him. I've been seeing 2GB do uh, the, that uh, charge C assault a yep. lot more in this tournament, actually. Yeah. Like, before, he would just, like, you know, fake assaults, like, one or two times. Mm -hmm. Now he's just like, no, I'm just going to go for it, meaty this goal. Ooh, whatever. calls out the rebeat from Klim. No fear from 2GB. Yeah, I feel like in California we have some like we have so many former Melty Blood players playing Unil. Like Two Gigabyte's really good at reading it when people are gonna rebeat. Mm -hmm. And especially against Merkava because his this, this two A is hit does hit twice mm -hmm. and it does hit low, except it's very very slow. Wow, catches Clem <laughs> in the ankles start around. Ooh, Ooh dash up grab, nice. That was a counter grab also. Correct. Oh, there yeah, you go again. again. And he's also grid broken. This is bad. Oh, wow. Two gigabyte, very smart, just w using Carmine's such a fast speed to run out of the corner. All right, knock down, plants the bomb. Here we go again. Oh, it does not block the overhead. It's going to be big damage. Oh, that's game. <laughs> Carmine hits so hard. I believe him and Batista are the hardest hitters in this game, right? Mm, yeah, Batista's pretty good. Uh, I'm trying to think who does more damage than Carmine. I don't think nobody does, really. <laughs> Gordo's really good. Gordo is very good in uh, the damage compartment. Yep. Actually, both of these characters on screen are very good in the damage compartment. Oh, also. there you go. Like I was saying, fake the first assault. Do another one. Yep. Oh, drops the 2C under. Nice tech. That's plus. 
Tricky by fighting out of the corner, but he gets slap box for his troubles. <laughs> Is that what you guys call it in uh, NorCal yeah. over there? Slap boxing? Slap box. We don't know the real names of these. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yet again. I love how 2 Gigabyte shields the uh, DPA uh, just far enough so he can run under. 2 Gigabyte taking it so clean. Yeah, that was a convincing 2 0. -oh. All right, let me write this down. Yep. So next we should have Sam.